Now, your first warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. It has been a very rainy Tuesday afternoon coming off of a gorgeous weekend where temperatures were in the 70s and the 80s. We struggled this afternoon to even make it out of the 50s and low 50s at that. That steady and heavy rainfall we had from late last night throughout much of this morning and afternoon becoming a bit more scattered and actually we've got a little bit of dry time in here uh, over the past hour to hour and a half, but we will still see a few more scattered showers and even a couple of isolated thunderstorms as we continue to pull in a bit more moisture from the southwest force this evening. That steady rainfall continues moving across parts of Iowa and into Wisconsin here. All of this thanks to a stationary boundary that is to our south this evening. This is actually where we've had a few stronger thunderstorms develop during the afternoon, but that is going to stay to the south. But the combination of the rain and the heavy rain and thunderstorms we had from last night and throughout the day today brought our rainfall totals in a few spots up over three inches of rain and that's just coming down in a matter of 24 hours. In fact, over the past 24 hours, we've had over three and a half inches of rain come down here measured at the Rockford Airport over an inch and a half from Freeport to Monroe, a little over an inch. Same thing down in Rochelle and DeKalb. In fact, our weather watcher Paul in Belvedere says he's had a little over two inches of rain, 2.07 to be exact, and Mike up in Roscoe also two inches of rain and a steady temperature in the 50s and that cloud cover is going to stick around, making it feel more like late October than mid-September, early September, in fact. Now, the good news for us, well, yeah, we needed some rainfall. We didn't need it to come down all in, in one fall swoop here as we've had some puddles actually develop and some standing water from some of that rain in some spots. It does become a little bit more scattered, so we'll hang on to a few of those scattered showers, and there will be some heavier downpours associated with that at times, but it won't be a wide widespread heavy rain event here as we go through the night tonight. Tomorrow there are still going to be some rain showers and we are going to continue with that northeasterly wind. So tomorrow it is going to be another chilly day, kind of similar to today with those low clouds, that cool, damp feeling and that breezy condition too, but the rain won't be as steady. We actually get a little bit more dry air working in overnight Wednesday and into Thursday, so this will cut off some of that rainfall. We'll still see a couple of scattered showers around, but we'll hold on to that cloud cover as we head through Thursday afternoon. 52 right now from Freeport to Monroe, 58 our current temperature in Rockford, 57 our weather watcher Bob here in Rockford's checking in with and had a rainfall 24 hours since it started yesterday at three inches of rain. Our temperatures, they have been pretty steady all afternoon, hard pressed to really break that 60 degree mark as we've stayed in the mid 50s since this morning and through this evening. Quite the contrast from where we were the first seven days here of the month where temperatures were in the 70s and the 80s. And in fact, unofficially, that high of 58 this afternoon tied our record cold high of 58 degrees set back in 1917. And we could break another record cold high for tomorrow, forecasting high of 61, that record cold high 63 degrees, 52. That's where we end up for tonight. A few of those scattered showers, isolated thunderstorm, 61. As we head into the afternoon, still going to be a bit on the gustier side. Those temperatures, they climb, but it's slow. We stay below average, Brittany, through the middle to end of this week. We'll see the 70s return with another chance for some thunderstorms heading into the week.